Now, strong words this morning on our show from the Attorney General George Brandis. We are at war with ISIL. Take a look. And we are at war, aren't we? Well, absolutely. Um, they have, uh, ISIL have declared war on us. They have been completely unambiguous in their intention. They have been completely unambiguous in their purposes. And we would be fools not to take them at their word and to take whatever steps are necessary. George Brandis this morning on the show. Now it's time for the Mixed Grill. Good morning to inspirational speaker John Kutis, broadcaster Mel Gregg and morning's host David Campbell. Morning all. Morning. Now let's start with you, John. The rhetoric and the international reaction has <coughs> cranked up. It really has. We probably expected it, but it's really gone up. Well, it had to, didn't it? You know, bombings, shootings, stabbings, innocent people getting killed. And really, enough is enough. I'm sick and tired like everyone else. We've got to do something about this. Now, we're Australian and we love to be Australian and we're learning to stand up for ourselves as we have done over the last 200 years and the rest of the world got to stand up too and we just got to, I guess, fight fire with fire. We've got to say, that's it, we're coming for you, we've got to get you. Well, it seems like there's a line in the sand here, isn't there, David? We've seen uh, what happened in Ankara, we've seen aircraft taken down with bombs, we've seen a lot of terrorism. This seems to be a line in the sand internationally. Yeah, it is. I think there's never a better time for a G20 summit than right now. It seems to be, uh, you know, historically a great time to have it. There is a lie in the sand here. I think, you know, the, George Brandis was very, very, uh, you know, very pointed about what he said this morning about being at war. We are at war with ISIL. We've been at war for a long, long time in this country, let's face it. Um, I think that nothing's changed. I think that what we can do and what the French are doing really well is relying on our governments and our military to do the work for us. And what we can do as a nation is to live our lives because what they want is our freedom. What they want is to take away our Australianness. And they can't bloody well have it. We have to be who we are. We have to stand by our mates, stand by the people who come to this country and love each other and live the best lives we can and trust our government. Yeah, yeah and that, that, that's a key point there, yeah, Mel, isn't does. it? Because yeah. as parents mm -hmm. and uh, adults and people that are going to lead this country into the next 20, 30, 40 years, we need to not use words like scary yep. and hey. Absolutely. Chuck our hands in the air. And this is about prevention now. We know it's going to happen, so what do we need to do? After the September 11 attacks, different measures were put in place for the planes to make sure there wasn't a repeat of it. What can we do now? It doesn't make sense that someone can walk down the street with a bomb strapped to them or a rifle in their bag and go undetected. We have the technology. Why aren't we using it on the streets? Is there a way of detecting when this is going to happen? Well, I mean, I mean look, there's an there's a interesting thing. You know, we were talking about this the other day and someone was saying, well, are we doing enough for technology? And, uh, you know, is everything going right? I'm worried about you know, young people being turned... And, and my answer to that is, well, yes. I think that we, we do have the technology. I, I believe the ASIO are, are doing the right things. I think that our government is, is using their technology to the best of their ability. And I think that they're, at the moment they are keeping everything at bay. You know, mm. I, I, have to, I have to put my faith in what the government and our services are doing here at the moment and rely on that. The parameters of war have changed. There's little question of that. And they say that the greatest vulnerability of humanity is its ability to be influenced. Now, we look mm. at one of the people that died, a teenager. So it's a difficult war to fight, John. It's a difficult war to fight, Mel. David, look, it's uh, heavy old morning news stories uh, are coming left, right and centre. So we better get back to it. Good to talk to you.